barbershop conversation guys feel free hit the subscribe button so yesterday there was an article an interesting article on the boxes scene that uh i'm not sure if anyone reported on it but uh Ugas will become the second slot for the mandatory for the WBC of the winner of Danny Garcia, Sean Porter. And uh, we, we all know number one and number two is irrelevant in WBC because we know what happened with Danny Garcia and Sean Porter because they both fought mandatories. Now, keep in mind, Ugas fought a title eliminator in the IBF. In the IBF, he beat Ray Robinson in February. I was there. I covered the fight in Vegas. On the Danny Garcia, on Brandon Rios undercard, I said that already. Um, and then June 16th, he fought pretty much a non-contender on June 16th undercard. Now keep in mind, Ugas was slotted to fight Earl Spence June 16th, but it didn't happen because they thought it was going to be a a, a pro-Mexican crowd. Because you can tell by the undercard, you can tell by the undercard fighters what they anticipate they didn't under, they didn't anticipate so many black people coming out it was i was there it was an amazing sight to see and uh you guys know how much i i have an affinity for <laughs> because in la i don't get that i have an affinity for it when i go to a fight like when i go to brooklyn maybe it's gonna be blacks and a lot of puerto ricans i'm gonna love it i grew up around puerto ricans and dominicans so um um it, it, it was a beautiful thing but but understanding money you understand why isn't Ugas? Why Ugas is now the mandatory on the WBC side and not the IBF side? So you got to ask yourself: Is everyone afraid of Earl Spence? Even a guy who fought a title eliminator and waited for the opportunity to fight Earl Spence? Is it the is it the protection plan? <laughs> is Frederick Hawthorne really a a mole or Deshaun? What do y'all call me? Deshaun Porter protection plan or is it business? Or are you guys ignoring the fact that someone planted the seed that everyone's afraid of Earl Spence and everyone's running with that narrative? If you if you understand the business of boxing, you will understand what's going on. Why is everyone afraid of Earl Spence on the WBC side? And why is no one in the top 10 in IBF, no one you can pronounce? Trust your own understanding. I'm just giving you guys information. The article is on Boxing Scene. Feel free to watch the article on Boxing Scene and uh, trust your own understanding. Do your own research. But at the end of the day, as I say, no. At this level, at the amount of money these guys are making and and putting together mega fights, I don't believe no fighter is afraid of anyone. You understand what I'm saying? I just don't. I I just believe they know if they're gonna fight a mega fight, they want to get paid for it. Same thing with Floyd Mayweather. And uh, Canelo, same thing with Floyd Mayweather, Conor McGregor. He knew it was a mega fight. He wanted to get paid handsomely. And, uh, you know, so so trust your own understand. So that means everyone is afraid of Earl Spence. Because Ugas is not fighting on the IBF side, that makes him afraid of Earl Spence because now he's fighting on the WBC side. You guys got to start doing your homework. And, and, and it's not, um, I, uh, it's not, See, you, you guys are misunderstanding because the, the uh, a high percentage of my audience is black. You think I'm talking to black people when I say boxing fans. I'm, I'm talking to boxing fans, everyone, because everyone is spilling out the narrative that everyone is afraid of Earl Spence. And you got to take into mind, Danny Garcia fought Lucas Matisse at the height of his powers. Dan, I'll say it again. Danny Garcia fought Lucas Matisse at the height of his powers. And uh, if he did that, that leads you to understand that, you know, it's. It's a business because who would get in the ring with Lucas Matisse a few years back? Now everyone wants to fight him now, but, you know, he's retired now. But anyways, man, trust your own judgment. Read the article. But uh, is Ugas really running from Earl Spence, even though he waited on him for June 16th and fought the mandatory and, and did the requirements to fight him? Ask yourself the questions. Barbershop Conversations. Feel free to hit the subscribe button so you can you can do your research or you can continuously trust the propaganda. Keep in mind. I'll be honest, people on YouTube didn't create the narrative that people are afraid of Earl Spence. They couldn't have. If you follow the money, you would know that they couldn't have. So anyways, man, Barbershop Conversations, feel free to hit the subscribe button and uh, feel free. <laughs> I mean, hey, I swear to God, this video is going to be like uh, one to two in dislikes. So I'll probably get 50 likes and about 100, 100 dislikes minimal. I'll holler. Peace. <laughs>